Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an unboxing for the Wish Granter from Diamond Art Club. This is the trial offer. I did purchase the upgraded kit, so this one is 32 by 37 with um, round diamonds with ABs. They did uh, send me a double order, so they sent me the smaller version as well as the upgraded version. So eventually I may go ahead and try to do a comparison. Um, I'm also going to be kitting this up. There is an event called Butterfly with Diamonds, and Bella Art de Nicole is the one that is hosting that event. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. I have already gotten into the bag as I needed the tray out of here for a different um, project I was working on. I needed some extra trays. But with Diamond Art Club, you get the heart wax and some baggies. You get a pen, a three-placer, and you get a squishy. You only get like three or four baggies, but... And then you get two things of heart wax. I'm sorry, the lighting is pretty bad today. It is raining outside. Um, I tried to set up another light across from me. So hopefully it's not too, too bad. And my kitty wants to be in the shots as well. So, here we go. Here's our diamonds. Very pretty. Um, they give you a discount code for 10% off your next purchase with every purchase that you make. Now, I've done two orders from them and I did not get any release paper, so that's kind of cool that they sent some release paper. And this is gonna be really pretty. Now, Diamond Art Club, they do have great quality. Their canvases are extremely nice. They have felts on the back. Um, they're very, very, very nice. They turn out beautiful. I do think that they have excellent quality. However, I personally can't afford to purchase one all the time. That's why I like the budget-friendly sites as well. And I do try and make sure that I don't purchase anything that's not licensed or that I don't purchase anything illegally. Um, I don't necessarily search, but if I think something looks like it could be something I've seen on somebody else's website, then I will look at it and see if it's stolen art. But here is canvas. Again, it is a 32 by 37. Um, I don't have my tape measure over here, but I'm 99% sure it is 32 by 37 for the image size. So this is only, it only has 19 colors. And they're pretty muted colors at that. Um, lots of grays and whites. And then you've got your pop of blue. So Diamond Art Club, they do not number their packages. They do put the DMC code on here. Um, and I do notice that with their trial kits, they're not the same as their regular kits. They don't go in order. Actually, I think that is normal. I think they go in order of what has more. Um, and it looks like we've got a really dark blue. I'm going to bring you guys down here. It's like a dark bluish, purplish color AB, and then we have a lighter AB. Um, so we do have those two ABs. We have a lot of this grayish color, a lot of white. And then these two, I don't know why they're out here separate by themselves. I'm not sure. So while kidding this one up, it's, if you have like the Elizabeth Ward's 
I don't have that, but I know if you have that system, you can use all of your smaller containers. You, it's a little bit easier to know when you need a big container. Um, so this one would take a big container, I'm guessing. I don't like that. I don't have it. These are not going to fit all in my containers, but um, can you move, please, Kitty? I am going to use the system that I just purchased, and I'm going to go ahead and get that started now. I may not kit up the whole thing because it is going to be a little bit more confusing than a normal kitting up. Maybe I'll time lapse through it. Um, another thing is Diamond Art Club normally sends stickers for their symbols. However, they did not and I don't feel like going and taking a copy so we are just going to make do here. Um, I wonder why I didn't get a sticker, I think. You know what, I don't think my other trial had stickers either. So, um, we'll just make do. So again, uh, that was the unbagging. Um, everybody knows Diamond Art Club has great quality. And this picture, I think, will turn out great, even though it is a smaller version. Um, I think it'll be really pretty. So I will go ahead and start kitting this up now. When you don't have a sticker, or if you don't want to make a copy and make a sticker, because you're being lazy like me, you just want to write your symbols. Well, this is how I do it. I write my symbols and my code, DMC code. Um, I know there's some people who will, they just use the number. So one, two, three, four, and they just number their containers one through whatever, and then they'll come back through and just use that system. They don't put the symbol on their containers. I personally have been doing it this way for so long, I, I wouldn't even know how to switch. I am watching my granddaughter. She's supposed to be taking a nap, so I'm very sorry if y'all hear her in the background crying, whining. She's hopefully going to go to sleep here in a minute. And looking at these symbols, there really isn't anything to get confused. The only ones that I don't like are these triangles. Those are the ones I, I don't really care for those. Because if you do swap your canvas around, to work on it the other direction, you might get those confused. Um, but other than that, they're pretty simple symbols. All right. So now, I'm just gonna pull out, ouch. So these are the containers. They are all separate and they do open. I have started using these. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Um, one of my containers in the other kit doesn't want to close that well, so it's the only reason why I don't really love it. So I'm gonna set these aside and I will probably pour the extras in there so I have everything here together. And the baby might need to be tended to, so might go and put you on pause and go 
Let's see if I can't find her pacifier. Be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, I'm gonna pause this and put these in order of DMC. Okay, now I have them all in DMC order, it'll be a little bit quicker. And then once I get them all in here, I'll actually put them in symbol, symbols and letters and number order. So I hope you guys all go and check out the event. I do know that she does, Bella Art and Nicole, she does have a group, Facebook group, um, that she is doing this event on. I know there's a lot of giveaways and you just, I know that you didn't have to start your canvas today, but you couldn't have already started it prior to today. You just don't have to start it today. And you have to finish it by June 20th, I believe. So I kind of wish I would have just went ahead and made labels and wasn't la lazy about it, but oh well, we'll make it through. very humid today in Texas. It's raining and just cloudy and it's very humid. I feel like I need to turn my air conditioner up. Um, I used to just use sticky labels if I was just going to write my symbols, but those labels tend to leave residue behind and I just, I don't know, Using alcohol doesn't seem to work to get it off. Can't really find something that works that great to actually get it removed. So that's why I'm using, I'm using painter's tape. You can use washi tape or masking tape or whatever you might have. Um, even with my label maker, those labels leave behind sticky residues, so I still put them on the can the containers and I still put them on the tape and then the container because this tape stays on well enough that it's not gonna fall out <laughs> just making a big old mess um, and it does not leave behind any residue so it works out perfect See how many times we can do that in this kidding up. I wish I knew all the giveaways that were going on. I know Bella Art and Nicole is giving away something to do with her 3D printing trays, or I'm not 100% sure what she's giving away, but I'm sure anything that she gives away would be really awesome to have. I'm not having luck with this today. All right, let's see. So the bags are a little bit, I don't know what, I don't know, sturdier, but not. So when I pour it, the middle gave out and just dumped all my beads all over the place. Well, that's the second. That was a big spill. That one was bigger than the other one. Maybe I can make it through the rest of these without spilling. Turn the air conditioner on. It was just getting way too muggy. So 
So I know I've said this in other videos of mine that my cat just really doesn't um, bother me while I'm diamond painting, but I tell you what, when I'm doing videos, she is sure all up in my business. But I guess it's because she can't really get up in my business on my drafting table um, when it's tilted. Maybe that's why. But she wants to be a part of this today. I have a feeling I'm going to have a few extra containers that I'm going to have to use. I do have Harbor Freight containers. They are all being occupied at this moment or else I would have used those. Oh, I put the wrong code. Um, I would have used those instead. You can get just a little bit more into the Harbor Freight containers. Not much, but a little bit. And for this one, I won't open the second package. I will just stick that in there and when I'm ready to do a refill, I will refill it. So even though this one had two different bags, for some reason it wasn't as full as that other one, the DMC 415 was, where I had to just use two containers. The 415 bag was just a little bit more full. And the reason I was spilling earlier was because I opened the bag wrong. There's no reason to open it all the way across. Just open a little corner and you'll have less spillage. But I am excited to do this event. I've only participated in a few events. I've never won anything, which is fine. It's fun to just participate. Um, I was actually going to do a different butterfly painting, but I remembered I had these, so I was like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do another diamond art painting, diamond art club painting. I ended up buying all of the trials, so I still have two more to go. I have done the, um, Four Seasons Tree. I actually gave my smaller soulmates to my mom. So I actually still have the bigger soulmates and uh, the rainbow rose in the larger sizes to do. And then I have three different smaller sizes. I have this one in the smaller, the Four Seasons trees and the rainbow rose. So I don't know, eventually I'll do another, I'll do either this one in the smaller one or the Sea of Four Seasons in the smaller one to see what kind of difference you get in the different kits. I let my mom keep the Soulmates one, so I won't be able to do a comparison on that one unless I do it at her house if I'm visiting her. Because I don't want to take it away from her. I don't know how much fun it will be to do the same canvas back to back, so it might take me a little bit to get those completed and show the differences. So if you already know about the Butterflies with Diamonds event, which canvas are you guys working on? Um, I know there's quite a bit of people that were in her group posting pictures, and there's a lot of butterfly pictures. They're all really pretty. I love butterflies. Oh, I guess that's one of the main... You have to do something with a butterfly in the picture. It doesn't have to be the main focal point, but it does have to have a butterfly in the picture. I'm telling you what, I'm just making a mess. Maybe I need a funnel from Bella Art to Nicole. 
actually think I ordered one a while back from Ali, AliExpress. I just haven't gotten it yet. It would be helpful. It wouldn't spill as much. And I will put the link for her Facebook group in the uh, description. That way, if you want to join in the event, you can go to her page. There is a Google Doc form that you have to fill out. Um, and you cannot have already started your Canvas. That's the only other. It has to be Butterfly and an unstarted Canvas. I don't think these are going to fit all in here in one. Let's see. My kitty cat is about to make a mess of my stuff over here. Alright, I have just barely any left. If I was going to start working on this now, I would just start with this color and use what's in the package. So I didn't have to do this, but I'm not going to start it right now. So, there we go. I know that that's that color. I don't need a sticker for it. And all that's left is our two ABs. So right now I have several work in progress is going. I have my heart cloud. I've only worked on it a little bit. Um, been trying to get my storage for my leftover diamonds. I've been trying to work on that and it's been taking up a lot of my time. So I haven't really been diamond painting a lot. I'm putting my big one to the side. I have a whip and chat on the channel with that one with my progress. But I've decided it's time to it aside for a little bit and work on something else. It's kind of weird they have 136 is T and 137 is S. They're a little backwards, but all right. So that there we have it. See this container? It's um. A little bit loose but I think it'll work I'm not gonna switch it um, and then what I do is just go through it looks like there are a lot of symbols I think that's Diamond Art Club uses a lot of symbols one. looks like just one number So there we have all that is set up. Oh, let me keep these together. I don't have any specific way of keeping my symbols other than if I had a large painting then I might try to do something a little bit different. But there we have it. They all fit in here. I have several left over. I don't like to keep the empties in my boxes, so I'll figure out where to put those. But here we have our Diamond Art Club Wish Granter all kitted up and ready to go for the Butterflies with Diamonds event. All right, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, enjoy working on your diamond paintings, and I will see you on the next one.